Welcome back. Let's take a look at exercise 7-3. Here we are going to look at yet another acquisition of assets, but this time we have bought multiple assets in one transaction. So here we have Red Rock Bakery that purchases land, building and equipment for a single purchase price of $600,000. However, the estimated fair value of land, building and equipment are $175,000 $455,000 and $70,000 respectively for a total estimated fair value of, uh, this should be $700,000 when you three, add the three numbers. So let's see how we're gonna handle this. I'm going to jump to my journal entry first. What I do know is I acquired land, I acquired building and I acquired equipment and I paid cash. What I do know is that I paid $600,000 for this. I paid a single price of $600,000. Now I need to allocate that 600,000 to the three assets. The best way I can do it is look at the relative value of these assets. So here in my table, what I have is the assets, land, building and equipment, the fair market value of these assets. Those numbers were given to me at 175, 455 and 70. When I add up this num these three numbers, they add up to $700,000. I paid 600 and they add up to 700 in terms of fair value. So obviously I got a deal, I paid 100,000 less. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what is the relative value and use that as the allocation basis. So Relative value simply means I will take 175 and divide that by 700. So 175 divided by 700 is how I'm going to write this number. And that works out to 25,000. So let me write that number over here. Uh, 175 divided by 700. And that is equal to 25%. So I need to... Get that color up there. Uh, it's 25 percent. So 175 divided by the total. Now I do the same thing for building. 455 divided by 700. It's 65,000. And then 70 divided by 700 gives me 10. So we have 25, 65, and 10. They have to add up to 100 percent. I'm basically looking at what is what are each of these as a percentage of the total. So the total is 100%, so I came up with 25, 65, and 10. Now what I'm going to do is I take each of these numbers and I'm going to multiply it by 600,000. So 25% of 600,000 gives me 150,000. 65% of 600,000 600,000 gives me 390,000, and 10% of 600,000 gives me 60,000. Now, once again, they have to add up to 600,000, but let's just go ahead and add up these numbers, and I come up with 600,000. Now, these numbers that we came up with over here, let me use a different color for a second. Those are the numbers I will use in my journal entry. So the 600,000, I allocated it as 150, 390, and 60. So I basically said fair market value. If I had paid 700,000, I'd bought each of these assets individually, I'd have paid 700,000. Land would have been 25% of that. Building would have been 65%. And equipment, 10%. I took those percentages, multiplied that by the actual cash I paid, which is 600,000 and allocated it accordingly. So 600,000 times 25%, 600,000 times 65%, and finally 600,000 times 10%. Those are the numbers we came up with over here, and that's what I'm going to use in my journal entry. So this is called a cost allocation based for a basket of purchases based on the relative fair market value. Relative means facing relative to the total what was the allocation for each of these numbers? 
So this is very, very common in, uh, in the real world where companies will buy multiple assets and they pay one price, but they know that if they had bought them individually, they would have paid much more and they need to come up with an allocation base. So with this, we'll move on to the next exercise in the next video.